is a compressor. The aim of a compressor is to reduce the level of the loudest signals. Very often our equipment is limited by its peak signal capacity. Amplifiers in different parts of a mixer signal pad may saturate, a power amplifier may clip, loudspeakers may be in danger of getting damaged by excessive excursion. In these cases we are concerned about controlling the peak levels of signals such that the needed processing tends to be some form of limiting rather than compression. If we attenuate the peaks out of a signal, we are reducing the dynamic range. So here in Logic Pro, I already put an example of a compressor and a limiter right next to each other. And let's get over the controls of the compressor. The threshold first here, the compressor threshold, you can see here. Uh, it's actually really easy to explain when this level is exceeded, the processor starts compressing. It means attenuating and reducing the volume. It's actually all about the signal being compressed with a higher and a lower threshold level. We have the attack time right here in the left section, the attack and the release. But first, uh, look at the attack. It's the time it takes for the signal to get fully compressed after exceeding the threshold level. Minimum attack times may be between 50 and 500 microseconds. Depending on the type and brand of unit you're using, whether it's outboard or a software uh, plugin. Fast times may create distortion since they modify the waveform of low frequencies, which are slower. Especially for mastering and FM radio broadcast applications where low dynamics are desired, there exists multiband compressors that divide the spectrum into several frequency bands and uh, they compress separately with different compression times. In limiter applications uh, where we want to avoid speaker damage, the longer the attack time, the higher the risk of damaging the equipment. However, too fast and the attack time will generate distortion. So that's here, as you can see, 900 going all the way up to 200 milliseconds. Of course, it all depends the range of your attack, release and compress uh, threshold. Uh, uh, the ratios all uh, depend of you using outboard and of course uh, software plugins. We have here the release time, which we can close all the way to five milliseconds and all the way open to uh, 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds. The release time is the opposite of attack time. That's the time it takes for the signal to go from the processed state back to the original signal. Release times are much longer than attack times and range around from, in, in this case, from uh, five uh, milliseconds to uh, five seconds. So sometimes these times are not available as times, but rather as slopes in dB per second. In general, the release time has to be the shortest possible time that does not produce a pumping effect caused by cyclic activation and deactivation of the compression. So it's better to put this more down. Then we have here the compression ratio under the attack, the ratio. This parameter can, specific, um, can specify the amount of compression that is applied to the signal. It normally uh, range between one to one and represents a unit gain um, or a 40 to one. So you see, um, if we go it all the way down, a one to one, as you can see there, uh, we go back up, we have uh, two to one. And of course we have some parameters in between 2.3 to one, uh, three to one, and it goes all the way up to 30 to one. The ratios are expressed in decibels, so that a ratio of, for instance, 6 to 1 means that a signal exceeding the threshold by 6 dB will be attenuated down to 1 dB above the threshold level. Remember here, that levels out how fast the gain will go between the attack and the release. We could say that a ratio of around 3 to 1 is a moderate compression. 5 to 1 is a medium compression and 8 to 1 is a really strong compression. 
Then we have here the knee, uh, right next to the ratio and the knee. Um, not all compressors have that, but most of the soft compressors uh, have this uh, option. Um, it, con it controls that, allows the selection of the transition between the processed and the unprocessed states. Um, typically, one would get an option between, between a soft knee and a hard knee. And uh, especially on outboard gear, sometimes soft knee compression is referred to as over easy and is used by DBX branded compressors. A compressor I have, by the way, here in my studio. So the soft knee allows for a smoother and more gradual compression. So this is just quick uh, explained how the compressor is worked and where it all is good for. Then, of course, we have here the gain, which is, as it says, to put up the volume up or down depending of your incoming signal uh, the kind of uh, tracks you're using uh, samples or if you have any melodies played through a soft synth or whatever so this is uh, the explanation about what is a compressor